Here are the five best ways WWE could have Rhea Ripley make her return to television because there has been a lot of speculation as to when, how, and where Rhea Ripley will make her return to television. Now, before we get into this top five list, I want to know your opinions down in the comments area below because there are various ways that WWE could go with your girl, right? Because we know that she's going to be returning in a feud with Liv Morgan. They've made that very, very clear from the exact moment that Rhea Ripley went down earlier this year with an AC joint sprain in her shoulder. She opted against surgery and decided to do rehab. I agree. Now, as a result of that injury, due to a backstage segment with Liv Morgan, she had to vacate the Women's World Championship, and that was a real, real shame. We did not get the proper conclusion of a Rhea Ripley title loss, right? We didn't get to see that moment. We got robbed of that, mo that moment. Now, Liv Morgan, though, she has capitalized majorly, and the company has continued to push that storyline with Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley by bringing in Dominant Mysterio, and they're arguably doing some of the best work of all of 2024 storyline-wise, and it has risen Liv Morgan up to be a top, top star. It's also turned Rhea Ripley into a babyface, and Liv is somewhat of a heel now. And so, while SummerSlam is still on the cards, we don't know if that's exactly going to happen because Rhea Ripley needs to be medically cleared, right? If she is, then that opens up a lot more possibilities and possibilities in which we are going to get into today's video. So with all the backstory, with all the background covered, let's get into the top five ways. Number five, Rhea Ripley making her return in the Women's Royal Rumble match. Yes, I know. Preference this list. I'm going from worst ideas to best ideas. I don't want to see this either, but it's definitely a possibility. With Because we're in July, okay, and I understand January, early 2025 is still a long ways away. We don't know how extensive the injury is going to be for Rhea Ripley. I highly doubt they're going to wait that long, but it's a possibility. Now, Fightful had reported that there are creative plans in place for Rhea, should she be medically cleared? There are creative pl plans in place for Rhea should she not be medically clear. If they want to bring her back on television, there are creative plans in place for Liv Morgan without Rhea Ripley on television right away. I don't want to see them wait that long, but it's definitely in the cards because you never know how injuries are going to heal. Number four, Rhea Ripley challenging Liv Morgan on the exact same night that she returns. I can see this, right? Where Rhea, what does she want to do? We've we've seen Liv take her championship. We've seen Liv try to take Rhea Ripley's man, I guess. I, I, I still don't know the exact relationship between Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley, but she's trying to take that away. So what does Rhea Ripley want to do? She wants to take everything from Liv in one night. She wants to win the championship. She wants to take back Dominant Mysterio. She wants to absolutely mentally destroy this woman and to physically also dominate her as well. I can see that. Would it happen, though? I don't know, because if you're looking at it from a heel's point of view, why would Liv accept the challenge, right? Number three, a likely scenario. Rhea Ripley returns during a segment between Liv Morgan and and Dominant Mysterio. Say on a Monday Night Raw episode, they're out there, they're doing their thing. Maybe they're supposed to do something extraordinarily risque. And right before they do, Rhea Ripley returns. She comes out, major pop, the crowd goes nuts. Then they set up the championship match. Then they have a brawl, or they have a promo exchange, or however else you want to lay this bad boy out, right? That could be an interesting situation. Number two, we have Rhea Ripley return and cost Liv Morgan the championship. That, that's also a very, very likely scenario. We've already seen Drew McIntyre and CM Punk, this saga, for months now, going back to WrestleMania, right? WrestleMania 40, CM Punk's on commentary for Damien, or, uh, uh, excuse me, Drew McIntyre 
and Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title. Drew McIntyre wins a championship, but he gets in Punk's face. Punk lays him out. All of a sudden, Damian Priest runs out, cashes in money in the bank. One, two, three, new champion. Fast forward, clash at the castle. Drew McIntyre, Damian Priest. It looks like Drew's going to win it. All of a sudden, Punk comes out, costs Drew the title, right? Drew beats him down on a later episode of SmackDown. Fast forward, Money in the Bank. Damian Priest defends against Seth Rollins. Drew McIntyre, he comes out, he cashes in Money in the Bank, triple threat. He's about to win it. All of a sudden, CM Punk runs out, attacks Drew McIntyre, right? Like, we've seen this song and dance. And so, what does Rhea want to do? She wants to destroy Liv Morgan's life. Well, part of that is taking her championship. So, you go out there and you cost her the championship. Just like Rhea cost Liv months of action. Just like Liv cost Rhea months of action. Now, Rhea returns and costs Liv Morgan what she wants. I love that idea. I think that's a brilliant way to do it. Now, at number one is something that I think is a very interesting possibility, something to keep your eye on. Well, what is that? Well, number one, it is Rhea Ripley returning at SummerSlam on August 3rd in Cleveland after Liv Morgan's championship match, or just a match in general. We've seen this in the past. You look at Becky Lynch, her grand return, returning, and costing Bianca Belair the SmackDown Women's title. We've seen that with Damage Control's big return in 2022 at SummerSlam. There is a history of big returns from absent stars at SummerSlam, costing people's championships, setting up future feuds, right? We've seen that. Triple H likes doing that. WWE likes doing that as of late. I could absolutely see Perhaps it's Liv versus Zelina Vega, or pick a freaking name from the Raw roster. Liv retains it in the opening match. It's a barn burner, bada boom, bada bing. Liv's out there celebrating, cha-ching. And then all of a sudden, you hear Rhea Ripley's music hit. She comes out there. She confronts her. She sets up the match. They have a stare down. She lays her out. Whatever you want to do, whatever, you know, smaws you want to do. That's certainly a way to do it. I'd be down for it. Would you? I think there are endless possibilities. Those are just five. Some good, some bad, some great. That's just pro wrestling, folks. I love Jeff Jarrett saying, pro wrestling creative is very subjective, right? What you like may not be what I like, but that's just the reality of the situation with pro wrestling. Either way, I really, really look forward to to Rhea Ripley's return. Hey y'all, real WWE. quick, make sure you join the movement and join everyone in smashing, obliterating that notification bell so you are notified every single time we upload new wrestling content here to the channel. Hit that subscribe button as well. Thank y'all so much for your support and help changing me and my family's life.